while he was principal, Rosenstein wanted to continue um, his practice as an artist. So he actually was full-time principal, but two days a week he did his own work, <laughs> portraiture. And he got Paul Nash in, uh, already Paul, an established artist, of course, after the First World War, particularly uh, well known, but now in the phase of being a war, what he called a war artist without a war, so a bit kind of a, a, a bit searching around for things to do. Rosenstein got him in and was painting his portrait, and I think it was then that he really suggested to Paul that he come to the Royal College of Art um, on a sort of part-time basis. Rosenstein was had a reform agenda for the RCA. He'd been put in by the Board of Education to, to shake up what was a, a sort of sleepy, underperforming institution. Uh, he was moving people on, uh, encouraging some of the old guard to retire, but more, but, but he, equally he was bringing in to sort of leaven the mix, particularly in the design school, but also in the painting school, leaven the mix of, you know, the traditional teaching with the, the these new influences. So when Paul arrived in 1924, a lot of that generation, particularly Revilius Borden and their great friend Douglas Percy Bliss, Helen Binion and other people who are not mentioned in that specific quote, but were part of the broader network. Um, uh, the, what they saw arriving was this, you know, kind of practicing artist with a name, you know, um, not quite the Banksy of his time, but, 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 you know, he had a very good uh, exhibition of watercolors on at the time in the summer of 24, which were bright and vibrant, reflected the early Jim Church uh, works and, and other things he was doing. And so he was a name around town for, for young artists so to suddenly have him turn up and what Edward Borden said was that what marked him out was that he here was a practicing artist who was capable or who, who was treating his students as if they were also practicing artists of great talent so it rather and I think Borden's experience had been that the um, more traditional teachers in the design school tended towards the patronising, they tended towards doing things a bit by rote, whereas Paul Nash didn't really, I mean, he had done a bit of teaching at the, the Corn Market Art School in Oxford part-time uh, in the year or two before, but he wasn't really a teacher uh, 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 first, and, first and foremost, but he was clearly a teacher in the sense that he has seemed to have uh, a very good eye for what was the potential talent um, amongst these people.